Hey everybody, it's the amazing Tachan, preferably known as Blue and Dog on Tumblr, and we are on episode 3 of Sam and Max Save the World. The mole, the mob, and the meatball. We have come to save the day. Everyone can relax. Can turn the volume down. Just so I don't want my voice drowned out. But, yeah. We're on to episode three. Look at this lovely purple music, purple background. I love it. I like the theme music. I love jazz. Here we go. The mole, the mob, and the meatball. Oh, come on. Let's go. There we go. Hiya, Sam. Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Oh. I got it, I got it! Ow! Good job, oh. Sam. Yes, Commissioner. Hold me, cat wearing catfish, blobbing a crime We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write them here? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Troy Mafia. <gasps> the cutthroat killers with no respect for human life, but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one will ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. The shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never smack him across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! I think anybody will do that if you tell them, ask them that. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly turn the voice up. You crack me up, little buddy. Turn the music down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Options. We're done. Let's see if we have any more mementos in here. Up, oh, Hypno Bear. This charred pile of scraps serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. The human enigma. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Jimmy Two Teeth, Vince. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Vince in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in the way of my custom! What custom is You really want to do that in a friggin... Officer's office? Whatever. Hey, Lace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. <laughs> 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of stuff. A very disturbed. Oh. Okay. What's on TV? Look, Max, the Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. So it do doesn't I. sound like me. They're probably hiding a cow. Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages and get Max a snack from me. I guess we should get back. Oh. <sighs> I love doing Let's Plays outside. Spatula? 
good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. Spatula the second. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. Office door. Out we go. Let's go see what Bosco's got. And let's see what Sybil's doing now. What you doing now, Sybil? Witnessing. Well, let's go see her. We never saw liver and onions live. I'm sad. Hey, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial I witness? I would like a career oh, at all. It's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost Love sounds and like justice. you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. You do. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Let's not we'll ask her that. Bye, Please, boys. can we not Keep ask her? The truth. I'm just gonna leave. See what disguise Bosco has this time. Who's in? It? Who's got it in for him this time? What happened to the, to the skin bodies? Hey, I noticed in the options, the warp drive option could... If there's a viewer out there who's actually watching this, can you um, let me know what that is? Otherwise, I'll just look it at myself, but... Hey, and love rectangle post. The king lives. Bosco? Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of Cordon Bleu! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey, guy, it's me, Bosco! No. He's the devil but man! You may call me no, wait. Jean -Francois Sorry. Sissipas, Wrong nationality. The cowardly French anarchist. <laughs> the cowardly French anarchist. Who's got it in for you so this Bosco, time? Why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it. Maybe it's because you're wearing a name tag, says Bosco. Who? The Mafia! The toy mafia! They've got an info! Take a number, guys. I'm not gonna ask him. Oui, oui, monsieur. Do you have any Do you have any straight tufts of Sasquatch here? No. no. What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Basco Tech Innovation! A device non-parel on chocolate! Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can I fit wonder in how any much this one's gonna under cost. any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. 
Okay, senor. Sissy pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. The price is 10 uh. million dollars. 10 million? Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Screw that. It's nothing for us right now. Zit! Zit alors! What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the toy mother Where's committed Lord's? against you? I don't know. Nothing. French people yeah. help. But I know what Actual French people. And it is Including French Canadians. Canadians. They count too. Are they planning to tie you down, take and your eyes open, and turn on the 24 hour Midtown Cowboy Anyone channel? Anyone who speaks French. Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Just like episode one. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or my name is not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean Francois Sissy Pants. Say don't know that. See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. Is there anything new here? Oh, Hot Bunny is covered now. What do we have here? Organ tray. Ooh, let me see that. No, Hot you Bunny? cannot see Hot no, Bunny. self-loving weekly. Yeah, Max doesn't really have a sex drive, does he? Funny bread. They from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. I think I have to click so much, but whatever. It's a computer, what are you supposed to do? Is Stinky's ever gonna be freaking open? Because I wanna see Stinky's. Nope, guess not. Okay. What's laying by the fire hydrant? Probably just trash. Um, anything new on the floor we want? Let's go see the new posters. Oh no, they didn't change, but I didn't read them before anyway. National Spin the Bottle Championship. No thanks. Sam? We are going to Chuck E. Cheese. Teddy Bears, Mafia Free, Playland, and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. You give tokens to first time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the big, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. 
Whack the rats. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. Huh. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful monster twist. <laughs> what better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most fake, violent sure. way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Hmm, I'm gonna walk around a little first. Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Sounds like Dr. Girlfriend. <laughs> nah. Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? <laughs> Leonard. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Churn. Leonard Steak Churn. Let's just say Best I last name ever. 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get him then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? <clears throat> Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. I don't know how to play poker. How exactly does one play poker at the Indian Persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. Shut up. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? What Land shark! Look, Land simple. shark! We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, but rough. Don't call me that. <laughs> and you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. I'm not playing. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. We a common mistake. Fur. Have some hair. Black face. Who wears black boots with black pants and black shirt? Well, not black, they're brown pants, but that just doesn't go together. Sorry. One arm bandit. A one arm bandit. Insert token to play. No. You see that I'm bad enough it's at the game corner in Celadon City. No, I'm better at that than I am at Voltorb Flip. I'm sad there wasn't a casino in Unova in Gen 5. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. I like the thing at the top. Why can't we have lollipop chairs at the amusement park? A what? No, I'm not playing. A buffet sign. Buffet closed for semi annual food change. Sorry, man. Aww. Who are you? What's your bear name? Hold it, Mugs. Not Mugs. Max. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I left to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is swordfish. Nope. <laughs> we'll be back. Like I can. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play Whack the Rat. Oh, now I know what the ace is for. Let's give this a shot. I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat keep his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? That's not how you spell capiche. How can we not?
school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. All right, guys. It's part one of this episode. I'll be back in just a minute to continue. I'm trying to cap this at like 20 minutes per video.